training module 2.2 deals with reference evapotranspiration. The learning objective is to understand the concept of the reference evapotranspiration. This is explained in three steps. First of all, what is reference evapotranspiration? Then the standard method to determine ET0 is explained. And finally, we show the scale of ET0. So let's start with the concept of reference evapotranspiration. When water is applied to the field, the water will infiltrate in the soil and the roots will take it up and move it to the leaves where water escapes as water vapor through the stomata. This process is called crop transpiration. Water, which is on the soil or in the top soil, can also be lost by soil evaporation. Now in the field, those processes are difficult to distinguish, hence they are considered together and called evaporation. Transpiration. Crop transpiration is affected by weather parameters. When it is very hot and dry, crop transpiration might be large. It is also affected by crop characteristic. What is the crop type? How big is the crop? What is the canopy cover? And finally, it is affected by management and environmental factors. How much water is in the soil? What is the soil fertility level? The same factors affect also soil evaporation. When it's hot and dry, a lot of water can be lost by evaporation. When the crop shades the soil, soil evaporation will be small. And when there is no water in the soil, then soil evaporation will be minimal. So weather parameters, crop characteristics, Management and environmental factors determine the evapotranspiration rate. To study evapotranspiration, we are going to consider each of these factors independently. So we can estimate evapotranspiration for a particular crop, which we call the reference crop, and under standard conditions, these are the non-limiting conditions. There is no water stress, no fertility stress, no pest, no diseases. So the only factor affecting evapotranspiration are the weather parameters. This evapotranspiration is called ET0 or ETO or ET0 and it is the reference evapotranspiration. If you consider now the evapotranspiration of a particular crop, for example, tomatoes, under the standard non-limiting conditions, then we talk about the crop evapotranspiration under standard conditions. However, in the field, the management and environmental factors are likely not to be optimal. So the evapotranspiration in the field is called the crop evapotranspiration for non-standard conditions. In this presentation, we focus only on ET0, on the reference evapotranspiration. So, reference evapotranspiration, consider the evapotranspiration from a grass reference crop under standard no limiting conditions. So, the only factors affecting reference evapotranspiration are weather parameters. Hence, ET0 is a climatic parameter. It expresses the evaporating power of the atmosphere at a specific location and time of the year. In the northern of Europe, the evapotranspiration will be different than at the tropics. And in winter, it will be different than in summer. It does not consider crop soil or management characteristics. This second part focuses on the way ET0 is computed from meteorological data. It is done by means of the standard vau penman monteith method. Penman, as a physicist, developed an equation to describe the vaporization of liquid water and the vapor removal 
to the atmosphere. However, he was not able to describe it fully, so there are some empirical parts in it, so it is a semi-empirical equation. Initially, the evaporating surface was open water. Later, he used grass as a reference surface. Monteed improved the Penman equation, and as a crop physiologist, he was able to bring in resistance. The penman monteed equation does not describe the reference evapotranspiration, but the crop evapotranspiration under non-standard condition. Therefore, he introduced resistance factors. When the topsoil is very dry, the resistance for soil evaporation will be very large. When the stomata are open, the stomatal resistance is small. Cuticular resistance normally is very big. These resistance are grouped together in the surface resistance. There is another resistance which is the aerodynamic resistance and is linked with the airflow. When there is a lot of wind and the crop is large, the aerodynamic resistance is small. Those two resistances are put in series and determine the crop evapotranspiration under non-standard conditions. This slide shows you the penman monteed equation with Rs the surface resistance and Ra the aerodynamic resistance. Now, the calibration of the resistance is very difficult. They are changing continuously and we need a lot of equipment to record them. So most of the time they are unknown. Only researchers are able to determine those resistance. The FAO penman monteed equation considers the penman monteed equation and it solves it for one particular case. Namely, for the reference crop, which is grass, under standard conditions. Well watered, well fertilized, no pests, no diseases. Since there is not only one grass crop, FAO introduced a hypothetical grass crop with well-defined characteristics so that it can be applied all over the world. Here we see the, some of the characteristics of the hypothetical grass surface. For example, solar radiation comes in and the albedo, the part of the solar radiation which is reflected, is by definition 23% while for grass it might vary between 20 and 25 percent. The surface resistance is 70 seconds per meter, which is a resistance for a well-watered crop. The height of the crop is exactly 12 centimeters, not 50, not 5, such that the aerodynamic resistance is only a function of wind speed. So, by giving as input the meteorological data which is recorded in a weather station, we can compute with the fao penma monteed equation the evaporating power of the atmosphere. In the last part of this presentation, let me visualize the scale of ET0. Here we see the evaporating power of the atmosphere. It is the average over the year. It is expressed in millimeters per year. In the light blue part, the average evapotranspiration in a year is only 2 millimeters per day. In North Africa, where we have the green color, it is about 4 millimeters per day on average over the year, while in the desert the brown color refers to 8 mm per day. Of course it changed throughout the year. In January in North Africa 
the evapotranspiration is about one, two, three millimeters. In April, it becomes about three to four millimeters. And in July, it is already six to eight millimeters.